the string is broken right at the pressure bar. A lot of rust in this piano. A lot of these pianos had broken strings before. So I see by the numbers on the plate that that's 14 and a half. I'll make three complete revolutions. One, five, six. That makes three complete turns. Somebody noticed that this was broken and put a little note on the piano saying it was broken string. Of course, um, I wasn't planning to come back to this piano for maybe months from now. But one of the students found me, saw me in another room reported it. He said it had been broken a few days ago. Well, that's what one of the things is hard to do is convince the students that if they see a problem, they should report it right away. It reminds me of a piano that I saw. The man said that, that he'd gotten this uh, spinet piano for free, and so he took it to his son's house and it didn't work, so they just left it there. Finally, one day he decided to get onto YouTube and poke around and see what he could find out about how to fix it. And he finally came to the conclusion that he needed to take off the bottom board and reach down inside, and sure enough, there was a, a little piece of wire that was stuck down in there, and he took that out, and now the piano works fine. So he said, just needs to be tuned. Well, it hasn't been tuned for years. No doubt needs a pitch raise. And then he saw a nicer looking piano for $100, so he bought that. Now he's got a piano that has never been tuned. Looks nice. And he traded it for a 1943 Acrosonic, one of the most stable Solid pianos ever built. He got a, a, he traded it for a Baldwin 1997. Oh boy. He doesn't have the slides. He did it all on his own because he figured it out. Now this strange thing about this is this is somebody that I know and somebody I tune his piano every year and it's in beautiful shape so they know how to get piano how to call a technician but they didn't I'm not counting the tunes now I'm just looking at the whole system and making sure the coil is looking good right now I need to squeeze the beckett so I'm get it inside the pin if you're filming, you should be able to see what you're filming. Be able to point it at what you're looking at. You'll be able to get it right. I'm trying to lift the string, get the coil looking good. Right now, I don't like where the coil is ended up towards the bottom of the, down on the plate. You can't see it, but it's down on the plate. I've got to have a nice coil. Coils, nice neat coils are important to tuning stability. Yes, you know, tell them what you're going to start talking about it when you work alone all the time. Work alone, how could that possibly be? You see, I work in a building with 125 pianos, <clears throat> a large faculty in the School of Music, and 240 music majors. So how am I alone? Because nobody comes and bothers me while I'm working. I, I beg them to come and watch me, come and observe me, come and learn how to do this. They are very busy. 
working on their assignment, practicing their instruments. This is my practice. Their practice is something else. So they're willing to pay me a small stipend to take care of problems like this rather than learn to take care of them themselves. And me, <laughs> well, as of today, I'm, as of right now, I'm 72 years old and I have Parkinson's disease. If you wonder why I'm having such a hard time manipulating these simple tasks, that's one reason that I really wish one of these young music students or mechanical engineering students or aircraft design students or whoever they are would come and apprentice somebody who I could teach how to do these mechanical things because they have uh, <clears throat> aptitude for mechanics which I never did in the first place and in the second place now I'm old and my my fingers don't work so well to put it in the vernacular. And here I'm always trying to get people to not use the vernacular. Well, I guess if good if the president could use vernacular, we could all anybody could use it. Huh, president. All of the senators and candidates and everybody likes to use vernacular nowadays. Very discouraging. You go to school for all these years to learn how to use the language, and people think you're a foreigner if you speak in the academic terms instead of the vernacular. It's just that when you're 72 years old and you're working by yourself all the time, you don't know the local and current vernacular. Keeps changing, you know. <clears throat> this task here should just be slip it on, turn the thing, and it goes into place there. Like that. So why was I struggling all that time? And there it goes again. Because I need you to become a, an apprentice and to come help me. What that is, how are you going to pay for it to come here, live here? All these students have student loans and scholarships and financial aid based on, and they're studying in an, in an approved program. There is no such thing for this work here, and how is this work any less important? And learning how to play the piano. You can't play the piano unless somebody does this work. What, are they going to rely on old people to do it forever? Where's the young people learning how to do this? Where's the young people helping us old people do it when we... It gets hard for us to do. That's right. It's harder for me now than when I was younger. How about that? So why is there not young people? Why is there old people doing this work? Well, because it's work. Young people don't like work. Come on, where's the young people? We need to do this work. My wife thinks I should be home taking care of her, not here taking care of these things for the young people. Yeah. I want to make sure there's not wrapped around the other wire. Okay, I'm going to come out here to that pin, measure three widths of my fingers, three fingers widths. Now I need to bend this back where it was, put it through that little hole, which you can't see because my hand's in the way, or maybe it's my beard hanging down that's in the part that's the problem. I don't know. I know what's the problem. The problem is, this is what needs to be done, and it's here, and you're there. 
you should be here. You should be presencial. You should be here in person. Imagine if you had to learn how to play the piano and you didn't have a piano. I might do it. I'm going to teach you how to fix a piano and where's your piano? Just, I should not demonstrate anything that you don't have access to. Exactly the same thing and could try it out at the same time and in a way that I can see what you're doing and give you feedback. Better yet, why aren't you here with me? The next critical thing right now is make sure that that coil, that wrap is going each one under the other in a tight coil and not wrapping up on top of each other. Now I've got the coil started and in the meantime, I don't have the string on the pin anymore. Let's see if I have enough wire to do it, my, do it the old way. Yeah. In other words, everybody does it a different way. But if they use correct principles and the job's done right in the end, that's the important thing. Of course, you don't want to be like me today and take longer than it should. Problem is, once you've done thousands of strings and you know what to do, what if your hands don't work to do it so well anymore? Trouble with apprentices, how do you pay two people to do the same job? Well, you can't start earning until you're doing something that earns, that brings in more than if you weren't there. So an apprentice can start becoming, well, start paying their own way because we actually get paid for what we do. Or that is in the case where we do get paid for what we do. As opposed to music school where, sure, you're uh, learning a high skill at a high level but at what point do you start getting paid to do it? You don't get paid for any of the performances you do for the, for the school. In fact, you have to pay to perform. Whereas in this business, as soon as you're making your own way, as soon as you're able to create an income that wasn't there before, wouldn't have been there if you hadn't been here too. Pay what? Pay while you learn. Learn while you learn. Now that's not saying that you can't do that in music. Certainly, <clears throat> there's occasions, there have been in the past until now, when they might, somebody might call the school of music and say, we've got an event. You have a group that can, will pay your group to come play for us. There's always that possibility. And that's the desired outcome that you're an apprentice. And they somebody pays you to do what you're learning how to do. Until you come until you become a master and you start having more control over what you get paid for, what you do, and whether you get paid for it. <clears throat> of course, it'll never be the time when some you don't hear, come and play for us, we don't have any money, but it'll be good exposure for you. Play in our restaurant, we're, we're not going to pay you, but all these people will hear you play. You can hand out business cards. Sure, if you have money to buy business cards, and you have a way to have a way to eat while you're playing for free in a restaurant, the restaurants benefiting from your efforts. Now, one more task: I have to make sure that all these wires are lined up. So, 
So I'm going to put this spacer here. Start spacing wires. Like this one, but more like the others, hopefully. There. I'm going to take this brass and make sure that that's seated. The wire's good and tight, so I just tap it over here. Should make sure that it's seated. Get that coil snug. Okay. Now let's see what we've got. This wire. Sharp. Now unplug that one. Unmute it. Now, right now, it's all the same. I don't want that. I want these two sharp. Stretching to stretch. Make sure you get it in the right spot. Stretch. Okay, well, I'm button it up. I'll leave it sharp like that. And I'll be able to check on it periodically, make sure that it's in tune when it needs to be. And then I'll put away my tuning tools in the box with, I mean my stringing kit. I have got one coil of wire from the collection. Put this back in my pocket. This is my stringing kit. And here's my little pouch for my camera. And Put all this away. I didn't even have to use my type my phone because I have a separate camera for for uh, making this picture for you. In the meantime, there's my mask, and there's all the people walking around with their masks on, and a bright sunny day. Here's all the cleaning supplies that they have in every room including the <clears throat> key bright and all the instructions for how they're supposed to wash their hands and clean the keys and all the other instructions about no food and no drinks in here and these really really old rusty string pianos they're broken strings getting fixed periodically whenever somebody Thanks to let me know.